is your story? Yes, what is your story? That's our topic for the day. If you think you're suffering, if you think things are very difficult for you, it might be the purpose, God, life, universe, is preparing you for your purpose, your story. I repeat, your purpose is your story. Think about that. Mandela, Einstein, Shoinka, Achebe, Gandhi, Patrice Lumumba, Barack Obama, Thomas Sankara, or Martin Luther King Jr. Pick each one of them. They could be your David, they could be your Moses, they could be your Mohammed, they could be your anybody. But the truth is this, deep down, you will see the purpose of your life in the seed of the story. Welcome to Diaspora Forum. If you have not subscribed to our ch channel, please do. Click, click the subscribe button right there and click the bell so that anytime we produce any video, it comes straight to you. Remember what we said? Very soon we're going Patreon and we'd like you to be part of the, we'd like you to be part of the story. But first, we want to hear what our elders, what our elders have to say about this. See, look at what our elders said. The wind does not bend, does not break a tree that bends. It's true. It's true. Think about that. If you're flexible, if you have your eyes on the prize, if you know where you're going, if you understand that your story is your schooling, your education is prepare, preparing you for the glories ahead, guess what? You will do well. But when you lose your focus, when your eyes is off the prize, then you, 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 you walk in circles like the Israelites in the desert for 40 years and not see your purpose. I'm sorry, I will continue to make references to the Bible. And as a religion, if you want, or as a story, as a classic story, whatever you pick, it's okay. But guess what? It's incredibly well written. So, we use it as an example for today. But again, did you know? Take a look at that. Did you know that, the, uh, that humanitarian aid started with Africa helping Europe? Yes, yes. I know you might not believe it because nobody taught you that. But guess what? Take a look at that picture. Yes, humanitarian aid started with Africa helping Europe. In ancient Greece, the people used to ask for help from African kings to thank their benefactors. The Greeks elected those kings as honorary kings to their cities. Yes, honorary kings, just exactly as you do today in universities, as you give honorary doctorate degrees to, you know, benefactors of schools. They also produce coins as seen above at their effigy to honor them. Well, this is not mine. Thanks to uh, Mr. Omhotep. Yes, in Facebook. If you have not watched his uh, YouTube channel or his Facebook pages, please watch it. He tells us a lot of things about ourselves. Check out this book, African Icons or I Love Africa and The Black uh, Samurai. Very good. Once again, did you know? Again, like we said, what is your story? I said, what is your story? Because your, your purpose, your future might be your story. A friend sent me a, a YouTube video by one pastor, um, Joshua Selman. Very good. I looked, I watched it and I said, you know what? That's what gave back to this uh, video that I'm presenting to you today. Take a look at that. Is it David? Yes, look at that picture. Is it David? Is it Moses? Is it Mandela? Is it Martin Luther King? Take each one of them. Look at look, look, look at Moses, for example. Is it by coincidence that he had to be raised in the palace? Think about that. To prepare him for the days he's going to present his case to the king, to the Pharaoh. To learn the language customs in the desert. Is it by coincidence again that he ended up in the desert? He had to run to the desert 
the same desert he had to, to take his people through. Yes. Look at how many years it took him to actually actualize his dream. But he remained focused. That is the story of Moses. Is it Mandela? Is it David? Look at David. His own father even forgot him when it was time for him to shine. But guess what? God did not forget him. The oil did not drop from the horn until they found David where he was, where he was in the bush. In other words, when your time comes, regardless of your story, you will shine. You will shine if you remain focused. Is it MLK? So many came before him, so many prepared the road for him. There were so many John before Jesus, before Mandela. But guess what? Who else would have been Mandela? Who else would have sacrificed his life for the rest of us? Your story, your purpose might be your story. Hold tight onto it. It might be God's favor in your life. Yes. Yes, um, is it, okay, look, look, okay, like I said, I'll use the Bible stories. Look at Rehab, a prostitute playing a prominent role in the Bible. A prostitute, is it possible? Who else would have done what she did? Look at Gandhi, a successful lawyer, until fate called unto him in South Africa and he had to go home and lead his people. Look at him. Who else would have been Michelangelo? Take a look at him. Yes, Michelangelo. Who else? Who else would have been him? You go to Sistine Chapel and you marvel at what man created with his hands. Who else? Look at Barack Obama. Just like Martin Luther King. Who else would have been him? Who else? With Eric Holder, with all these men around him. Who else? Look at Saul. Look at yeah, Paul. Look at him. Who else would have been Paul? Who else would have been that bold? Who else would have been said, is a Roman? Is it, is it being a Roman? He was on top of the world. Sadducees, Sadducees and Pharisees, he was. He was learned a lawyer. He killed Christians. He took pride in it. But all was preparatory for the role he's going to pray, play. And at the end of the day, guess what? He almost wrote half of the Bible. Is it Patrice Lumumba? Yes, they killed him. Yes. But guess what? His death gives us hope. Is it Sankara? Or is it the buffoon in their main? Or is it Hitler? Yes. Look at who else would have been such a buffoon like in their main? Who else would have been Hitler? He was groomed. That was his story. He had to play like Judas. Who else would have been Judas? You, myself. Okay. Your story. Your story. Yes. Your story just might be the purpose in your life if you hold on to it. Yes. What do you think? What do you think? Once again, your story might be your own favor. Monetary value, your greatness. Hold on to it. Learn from it. God might try to be trying to teach you something. All right. I'd like to hear from you. What do you think? Um, shout outs for today. Let's go to shout outs. Oh my God. Um, yes, we're very proud of the Biden administration. We are very thankful. Just look at four Nigerians. Four Nigerians. Look at all the people, Indians. Look at that. And then look at Nigerian women across the world being recognized for their excellence, for their character, for their tenacity. Not for the rubbish that very few put the rest of Africans through. The rest of the colored world. Look at these ladies. Look at this man. Look at the only colored person, the only colored man ever put in the deputy treasury of secretary, the, the deputy treasurer of the United States. Mr. Wally, Mr. Wally, and the U.S. Deputy Treasury Secretary. Yes, 
and then look at her, Osaramen Okolo, member of presidential COVID-19 response team. For me, I did Olorun Nikbe, Badejo, Associate White Heart Council. And look at her again, Enno Titi Lawyer Ebon, acting director of US Trade Development Agency. And look at Sandy Okoro. Senior Vice President of World Bank, look at Ngozi Okonjo Wala, look at, look, Aru, and that's Aruma Ote, look at Dr. Ngozi Ezike in Chicago, what she's doing. Obia Gelia requests, where do I, where do, oh, look, I can keep on and on and on calling you all out, and we are all proud of you all. That's why I say this, shout out to our ladies in the house, we're very proud of you. And to Mr. Wale, we're very grateful. Hold on, hold on, do well. When next, when people see people of color, they say yes. See what they are doing. We're very proud of you. Good day. Once again, if you look up, you see my information. <laughs> I really look forward to, you know, coming to your venue, speaking one-on-one -on -one with you. There's so much, so much about life 